Welcome to Physiques by a &O. Today's arm workout was a high volume circuit with the biceps. The only exercise I did was barbell curls with a 40 pounder and three different angles. I did a wide grip, medium grip, and a close grip. And I kept the weight light because I wanted to keep the reps high. For the triceps, I ended up doing four different exercises. Those exercises consisted of dumbbell kickbacks, close grip push-ups, tricep dips, and overhead tricep extensions. So this is my first set of the barbell curls kind of getting the blood flowing and really kind of warming up. So I did all three angles. Now I'm back to the close grip. And as I mentioned, I wanted to keep the reps high. So that's why the, the weight was just 40 pounds. A lot of times if I want to go a little bit heavier, I'll only do about eight to 10 reps per set. So right now I'm back to the medium grip, repping it out. And then I return to the wide grip. So the wider the grip, the more of the inner bicep you work. The closer the grip, the more of the outer you work. But this feels a little bit different. You're still working the entire bicep, but this feels a little bit differently. I'm a big believer in switching things up to get the most out of your routine. So once again, I'm showing a different, I'm gonna show a different angle shortly. Right now, this is the wide grip. I, I gave you the front view so you can see a little bit more clearly. And as I mentioned, because the arms are so wide, the inner part of your biceps play a slightly bigger role. When the arms are about shoulder width, it's pretty even, medium. That's medium grip kind of gets the middle, the inner and the outer a little bit more. And also the closer grip, it kind of gets the outer part of your bicep as well as your rear part of your forearm a little bit more. So those were the three angles I used. As I mentioned, the only weight I used was the 40 pounder because it was a perfect amount of weight for me to go high with the reps, yet still be challenging. So I'm kind of going right back to the, the different angles. This is the close grip again. I'm just repping it out. Right back to the medium grip. And as you see, this is like straight through. I didn't take any breaks. And when I did the barbell circuits, towards the end, I did about six rounds total. Towards the end, I took more of a break. But in the beginning, I was able to kind of go straight through. And this was kind of like my second set. So this is why I was able to go straight through. And then I finished up once again with the wider grip. Typically, when I do barbell curls, I do, I do like using the cambered bar. That's the bar that has the curves in it. If you notice, I have those straps on my wrists. I've always had wrist issues, and when you have the cambered bar, the bar that has the curve in it, it's a little bit easier on your wrist. They didn't have the cambered bar, so I had to adjust. Now, for the triceps, the kickbacks, you bend over at the waist and just extend the tricep, and you want to keep your arms as tucked as much as you can during this. I had a 25-pounder. It wasn't too much weight, and I was supersetting these with the close grip push-ups. Now, typically, this wouldn't be that challenging, but right after doing some kickbacks, it is more challenging. So I keep the arms close, and I try to maintain the majority of the pressure through the triceps. I try to get my chest and my shoulders out of it as much as I can. And to do that, you want to kind of keep the grip really close and just focus on what you want to work on, which is the triceps in this case. I went right back to doing the kickbacks. Arms are tucked. I try to make sure I eliminate as much swinging and the momentum as possible and make the triceps do the majority of the work. The tricep kickbacks is a good way to really get both heads, I believe, the outer and the inner part. Any type, anytime you're doing a pressing movement, such as a dip, you really get the, the lower part and the inner part of your triceps really well, I believe. So I always try getting some type of dip in there or close grip press. All right, after I finished up with that, I went right into my dips. This is a staple of my chest of my chest and tricep routine. When you're working your triceps for a dip, you want to keep your elbows as tucked as you can. And I wanted you guys to see the rear view because you can really see how my, my elbows are kind of tucked in. And I'm just really pushing through the triceps. It's not an isolation, so you're going to get some chest and shoulder involvement. But when you focus on the triceps like I am right now, that's where you're going to feel the majority of the tension. So after those, I did a few different alterations of the overhead tricep extension. And I wanted you guys to see different angles. That was a front view. This is a side view. So right now, what I'm doing, I'm pretty much pushing it straight up. And when you do this, you really work the, the part that kind of connects to the shoulder, the inner part, and the beginning of the tricep. And I finished up with doing a tricep extension where I, I let my arms kind of go out a little bit further. And this works a little bit differently. You kind of get the outer part of your tricep a little bit more. It was a slight change. You probably didn't really notice it. I'm about to go back to the... The first way I was doing it, where I had the arms more tucked in and I had the, the dumbbell kind of going more overhead. A good way to switch it up, and once again, switch it up just slightly and you get the most out of your routine. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the workout.